Our theme this season really relates to a universality about music and the way it's able to transcend different media, different situations, cross boundaries, and speak to everyone in a very personal way. I think a big part of this program is celebrating America. And I can't think of any better way to capture the spirit of America than through the photographs of Ansel Adams. It's almost like a film score, except the music is played to the accompaniment of these beautiful still photographs by Adams. And I love that because um, for me, the black and white simplicity of the photographs is not compromised at all. You just see the photographs in their original form um, displayed on a huge screen. Wow, this music, very, um, very American sounding sort of crossover music is being played. The program opens with this incredible piece, very short piece by John Adams, one of the great composers of our time. And he starts with a very simple idea. I mean, and that I think is extremely American. So he starts this piece with claves, which are two wood blocks, and you um, hit them together, and it just starts ba, 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 ba. Very simple idea, almost like you're just snapping your fingers. Pretty soon, this builds into um, absolute frenzy of activity with brass going crazy, percussion are in, everybody's going wild, and it does indeed feel like a very short ride in a very fast machine. The main work on this program is Bernstein's last, his third symphony called Kaddish. And of course, Kaddish is the Jewish prayer uh, said for people who have passed away. For me, knowing Bernstein personally and knowing the kind of storyteller, raconteur he was, he was the greatest storyteller I ever met. And it seems to me that his narration speaks volumes not only about the essence of the piece, but about his own personal view of the world. For Bernstein, I think this is a, an incredibly cathartic choice um, to bring together his faith, his life experience in the music that he writes. Bernstein writes his own narrative that's interwoven into the singing of the Kaddish prayer. And this narrative is from Bernstein's perspective, and it really addresses all these existential questions Bernstein's always asking himself about the existence of God. How can I believe in God? Um, is, there, is there a God? What is life about? You know, all those big questions. I think every single person can hear the piece and connect with it in a very important way.